once our database system is launched, it's important to note that we're restricted to the edition, so you can't change the database edition after you launch a database system. You can use different versions, so you can use 11G or 12C, but you're going to be restricted to Enterprise Extreme Performance Edition in this case. So it's something to note. So to log into this database system, we need to get the public IP. So we can get that from the Node section here. And we'll see the public IP list is here. So we can connect to this via PuTTY just by typing in OPC is the default to log in, username, the public IP, and we've uploaded our key pair to here. So this is the private key counterpart to the public IP we we uh, uploaded on the, in the launch wizard. So first of all, we can switch to the root user. So sudo su for switch user. And this gives us real privileges. And we're going to use a command line tool called dbcli. And we can find out more about it with the help parameter. And we can pipe that into more just to read it slowly. So the command we're going to use in this case is db create or create database. So to create a database, we're going to use this command. Um, it's the create database um, option. And these are the parameters. So we're going to name it hrdb. Um, with a password of welcome 12. With the h parameter there, the h flag just means we're going to include the password in the command. CL is for database class, so in this case it's, a, it's an online transaction processing database. S is for the shape of the instance, so we're going with the default ODB1. And the C flag is to create a container database. If we don't include the C flag, there's no container da database created. So we should see confirmation in the output that this is um, this job has started. We can clear the screen and then run another command called dbcli and then list jobs. So we can see confirmation in the output. This job has started and the database is creating. So we can find out more about this command in the official documentation. Um, just you can understand what each flag means. It's explain clearly here. And the same information is available in the command line if we just put in the H flag. This will give us details of each command. If you want to read this slowly, you can pipe it into the more command. And it allows you to go through this uh, slowly. So you can go through this yourself and read what each flag means. 